Hi, my name is Mandy DeVries. I am currently the Director of Education here at the American Association for Respiratory Care. I have a master's degree in science focusing on respiratory care leadership and education, and I am currently working towards a PhD in education. So the prospects are great for respiratory therapists, uh, for a student or future respiratory therapist. Uh, there's been a need globally uh, as well as nationally. So uh, you don't have to have any worries about finding a job. You will be much needed. So there's a lot of different opportunities out there for respiratory therapists. You, you've got to kind of find where your fit is, your, your passion, uh, what are your interests. Sometimes you don't know that coming right out of school, um, but there's a lot of places. You can put your focus in neonatal care where you're looking at little premature babies and helping them come into the world and breathe better. You can work with pediatrics and children. You can work in adult critical care, uh, end of life, hospice, diagnostic, pulmonary function labs, pulmonary rehabs, infection control, the list goes on and on. And if you find that you really love this stuff, one day you can become a teacher or an educator or even an author for respiratory therapy. So my career path is a little different from most. I, I feel like it's kind of been fast forward for a lot of it, but it, it started with me not even knowing what a respiratory therapist is. Uh, and I think that's where a lot of us are when we hear about this profession. Um, it was someone in my family that was affected by a respiratory illness. Uh, they ended up going into the emergency room and needed an airway. The person at the head of the bed saved their life. We later found out that that was a respiratory therapist. I had to look them up and Google them and I was like, who are these unsung heroes at the head of the bed? I've got to be one. So, you know, just having that opportunity to have that meaning going into it started a lot for me. So I jumped in, I got my associate's uh, degree at a community college where I live. I uh, absolutely love the program. It was tough, but it was really good. Got to do a lot of fun clinical experiences. Um, and then I got out and I started working in the field. I started off primarily in pediatrics, but I did a little work in adult critical care as well. Um, I wanted to know more though. I, I found as I graduated and was working after my first degree that I was always questioning, but why are we doing that? What does that mean? What is, what's the evidence behind what we're doing? And why did we choose this modality over another? So that gave me that, that hunger to go back and get a bachelor's of science uh, in respiratory therapy degree. And I never looked back. I felt more confident reading literature and finding evidence-based medicine to support uh, the things that I, I felt would help my patients. Um, so I fell in love with, with learning just more about respiratory care. So I went back and obtained my master's degree. Um, I was very lucky, it was a master's of science in respiratory care leadership, and I did a minor in education. So with that in hand, that opened more doors for me to try new things such as ECMO and teaching. Um, and now here I am as the Director of Education at the American Association for Respiratory Care. Um, every piece of my journey helped me get to where I am today. Uh, and I can honestly say I, I love it. I love every moment of being a respiratory therapist. I'm very proud of it. So if you were starting to think about what do I want to do when I grow up or what do I want to do for my career, you know, get, get and be hungry, hungry for knowledge, hungry for a career that, that you're excited about, that you're happy uh, to go to and do every day. Uh, for me, when I thought about that, I couldn't decide exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to help people. Um, and then finding that I have this pull towards respiratory therapy because of family situations. Um, that just gave me another reason why I wanted to do what I'm doing. So, you know, if you have asthma or have a grandparent with COPD or someone suffering from lung cancer, that might give you that reason why to look a little bit further into the career field of respiratory care. Uh, we get to travel. Uh, you could become a travel respiratory therapist. You can work in all sorts of settings, whether it's from an educator or bedside clinician. 
um, even in research. So just because you work in respiratory therapy does not mean that you have to stay exactly in one place. And that's what I love, that there's so many options about it. Whatever your path is, it's okay. It's, it's something that's personal to you. Uh, that's another thing that I loved about respiratory care is that I could join in at any time and they were so welcoming, no matter what walk of life you come from, what aspect uh, of, of education that you had, they were there to help you every step of the way. Because our field is so uh, is a lot smaller than some of the things such as nursing and physical therapy, um, we have that close-knit community and respiratory care, and that's something to me that mattered when I thought about a career. So stay hungry, stay excited, get good grades, because it all will pay off in the end.